You cracked the interview, you celebrated the big win and you told everyone that you got a job. But now, weeks have passed, months have passed, you have only one thing and that is silence. No update, no joining letter, only endless waiting. Your excitement has turned to the anxiety and the big question comes, what's next? There are many students who got placed in the companies but still they are waiting for the joining letter. The days has converted to the weeks and weeks have turned to the months but still no any update. In this video, I'm going to tell you four important practical things you need to do if you're still waiting for the joining later. Finally, I'm going to tell you one backup plan. So I highly recommend you to stay till the end of this video to get best out of it. I'm Pramod Bosle working in PCS for a digital profile since two years. Just in case if you're new to the, our channel, do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos. Now, without any further delay, let's proceed. with the people who are working in that company. One way to know the internal and the hiring situation of the company is to connect with the people who are working in that company. But make sure that you are connecting with the people who has three to four years of experience in them. Because since they have spent enough time in the company, there is a bit of chances of knowing what exactly happening behind the scene. But the big question comes in, how you can connect with the people who are working in that company. So let's go on to the screen and check how you can connect with the people who are working in that company. Now let's check out how you can connect with the people who are working in that company. Simply you have to come to the LinkedIn and here search the name of the company with whom you want to connect with. Let's suppose I want to connect with the people who are working in TCS. So simply search TCS. Now here you will get list of all the options. What you need to do is simply click on the people. Now the people who are working in TCS here it will get appear. Make sure that whenever you are trying to send the connection request you are choosing those people who have experienced 3 or more than 3. Because the people who have experienced 3 or more than 3, they have some kind of clarity about the internal things happening in the TCS. So I hope so you understood that how you can connect with the people who are working in that company. Stay in contact with HR. If you have the contact number or the email of the HR, try to send them a polite follow up mails. Make sure that you are trying to maintain your tone professional and respectful. Since HR can be busy in lots of other activities, you may expect a delays in your reply. But make sure that before you send up your follow up mails, you are trying to keep a gap of 7 to 8 days in between two follow ups. Don't try to send the follow up mails frequently because this might frustrate your HR. You don't know how to prepare for a job, you don't know how to prepare your resume and you don't know whether you are prepared for the company or not. Don't worry, Topmet will help you to check out whether you really stand out in the interview or not. Simply, you need to go here and search a thing which you want to have. For example, mock interview, resume review, career guidance or interview preparation guidance. Search the name of the company or the person with whom you want to connect with. Once you search, you will get the list of all the profiles who are working in that particular company. Let's suppose I am working in a TCS for nearly 3 years now. Simply click on the profile link and you will get all the offers of that person. You can personally connect with me to have your resume review, mock interview or interview preparation tip. The link is given in the description box. Do check so that you can boost your career before you put your first step in the industry. Stay in contact with your TPO. Staying in contact with training and placement officer which help you much better way because TPOs are directly in contact with the recruitment team and they might help you to understand your situation and if needed they can escalate your issues. But again before you try to contact your TPO make sure that you are maintaining the enough gap because no need to unnecessarily escalate the things since this can lead to the fatal error going ahead. Now here is a bonus tip and a backup plan for you. Rather than sitting idle start applying to the other companies. Don't try to put all your eggs into the same basket. Use your time exploring some new things and keep your options open. Who knows you might end up getting much better offer than the previous one. Rather than sitting idle in a home, start learning some new technologies and practicing questions. Also at the same time, side by side, start applying to the other companies. But I highly recommend you, rather than applying for the MNCs, start applying to the startups. Because startups can give you early joining date as compared to the MNCs. So sitting in a home idly and waiting for the joining date isn't your end of your road. Make sure that you stay positive, proactive and Start practicing and learning some new things rather than sitting ideal. But before you start practicing and learning, understand the demands and the needs of the market rather than learning the things blindly. So I hope so that this video has helped you to know what are the things you need to do if you are not getting the joining date earlier. 
just in case if you are new to the channel do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos till then see you in the next video